This video is on the sutures of the skull, where we will go into detail about the cranial sutures. So, what are sutures? Sutures are joints that are made up of fibrous tissue that connect the bones of the skull together, so they connect bone to bone. Now, these, join, these joints are fixed, which means they can't move, and they don't have a cavity, so no cavity. Okay, they're also sometimes called sonatharoses. So they're also wavy for extra strength, which means that they're not like linear, they're not like straight lines, they're actually quite wavy, and this gives them strength. The gross anatomy of, the, of a suture is it has three layers. So the main layer is the periosteum layer, which is essentially just a dense layer of vascular connective tissue. Um, and it's quite dense and it's quite like hard. And then that is surrounded by two layers of dura mater, which is just a tough outer membrane. Okay, if we move on to the individual anatomy. So this is the frontonasal um, suture and it's between the frontal and nasal bone quite evident in the name and um, also there's another suture right under it quite a small one and this is called the internasal suture so if we label that this is called the internasal suture and it meets the frontonasal suture at this point here and that point is called the nasion Now, the frontomaxillary suture is where the frontal process, um, is where the frontal bone joins the maxilla. So it's actually the nasal process of the frontal bone joins the frontal process of the maxilla. This just means that, so the nasal process of the frontal bone would just be this bit because it's close to the nasal bone here, so it's called the nasal process, and it's on the frontal bone, so it's called the nasal process of the frontal bone, meets the frontal process of the maxilla, because it's on the maxilla, but it's next to the frontal bone. So that's why it's called that. The frontozygomatic is between the um, zygomatic bone and the frontal bone. And this is where it's actually the frontal process of the zygomatic bone, which is here, and the zygomatic process of the frontal bone, which is there. So when you look at it, it's kind of confusing, but actually just remember that if it's close to like another bone, it will be called the process of that. So this would be, this one would be the, um, zygomatic process of the frontal bone because it is close to the zygomatic but it is the frontal bone so yeah the zygomatic maxillary is between the um, maxilla and zygomatic so it's pretty self like evident in the title and it's between the um, zygomatic process of the maxilla so we have the zygomatic process of the maxilla, which is here, and the um, maxillary process of the zygomatic, which is here. Maxillary process of zygomatic is here. Okay, now the nasomaxillary is between the maxilla and nasal. It's actually between the frontal process of the maxilla and the lateral border of the nasal bone. So this is the frontal process of the maxilla. And this would be the lateral border of the nasal bone. And that's because lateral just means side. So it just means like the outer side border of the nasal bones. Now, the metopic suture is really interesting because you can't actually see like an indentation, at least not in adults. But um, this is, it just goes down 
the frontal bone so sometimes it's called the medial frontal suture and it's present in newborns and it normally fuses so fuses just means goes away between three months to nine years so it should go away between that time but if it does remain like sometimes it may remain and it will just look like a little depression in the head and you can like see it now the corona suture separates the frontal and parietal bones and it has full fusion at 24 years old so it completely fuses which means like goes away you can't really see it at 24 years old now it's called the coronal suture because it looks like a crown so you know the coronavirus the coronavirus is called that because um it has parts on its anatomy which look like crowns which are these parts here they look like crowns that's why it's called the coronavirus because corona means crown so coronal suture is like a crown so it looks like a crown on top of the head the sagittal suture separates the two parietal bones and um, actually it fuses at 22 years old. These are all averages, so it might have like variation. And at, the, at this junction here, which is where the um, sagittal bone meets the coronal, or the sagittal suture meets the coronal suture, this is called a bregma. And it's just the junction, like meeting point. Another really interesting thing to note is, um, normally, when you're born, there's something called the anterior fontanelle. This is called the anterior or fontanelle. And this is there at birth, and it's a diamond-shaped soft membranous gap. It's there at birth. And it normally closes at 18 to 24 months. And once, it's, once it closes, it's known as the bregma. So before it closes, it's called the anterior fontanelle. And once, it's clo once it closes, it's called the bregma. Okay. Now the lamboid suture separates the parietal and occipital. And it's found on the superior surface, superior border of the occipital, which means just like the top border of the occipital. And the posterior border, which means back, so posterior border, back of the um, parietal bones. And it, it actually fuses at 26 years old. Here, just like we saw before, there's something called the um, posterior fontanelle, fontanelle, which is the same as what we saw before. It's just on the back, so rather than being anterior, it's just called posterior. Okay. The squamous suture is um, between the temporal and parietal bones and it may not completely fuse till 60 years old and it's shown here so it's all along here Okay, now, the sphenoparietal, which just comes off the squamous like we saw, so this was the squamous and this is just an extension of it, it's also called the terion, and um, it's a H-shaped suture, so it's H-shaped, and it's really interesting because it connects the sphenoid, the temporal, the frontal and the um, parietal. So it connects, this is the this is the sphenoid here, it connects the greater wing of the sphenoid, it connects the squamous part of the temporal, the frontal bone, and then the parietal bone. And um, yeah. The sphenofrontal is just next to the terion here, 
it's just next to the tarion and it's where obviously the frontal meets the sphenoid it's where the frontal meets the sphenoid and it fuses at 15 years old now the occipitomastoid is the um the connection between obviously the occipital and then the mastoid part of the temporal bone so it's the temporal bone but it's the mastoid part so it's the border between the um the squamous occipital so squamous occipital and the mastoid part of the temporal which is just here because this is the mastoid process so it's just the mastoid part Oh, and the occipitomastoid fuses at around 16 years old. The, tempor the temporozygomatic, um, it's between the zygomatic process of the temporal bone and the temporal process of the zygomatic bone. So, we can see it here, and it's between the zygomatic process of the temporal bone and the temporal process of the zygomatic bone. The median palatine suture, also called the intermaxillary suture, is between the um, left and right palatine processes, processes of the maxilla. So obviously, like you have your left and right palatine processes of the maxilla, and it's between those. Okay, and it's median because it goes down the middle like this. And just below that, we have the transverse palatine suture, and this um, is between the palatine process of the maxilla. So it's between the maxilla, the palatine process of the maxilla, and the horizontal plate of the palatine bone. So this is the horizontal plate of the palatine bone. And then these are obviously the palatine processes of the maxilla, because this is the palatine bone. Okay, well, that's all on sutures. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Thank you.